Door Update View combines the things that we just did, create and also detail. So we've got this update view here and we have two methods that are gonna be there for sure. And they're the same. Basically all they're doing right now is rendering out the form. So it's really not a whole lot different than the create view as it currently stands. But the thing that I wanna actually adjust is this get object method. So this method itself is going to override what you would typically do for your detail view. You would have a method in there called get object, so then you can use it in your various methods otherwise, right? So like as we've done here, that is actually how we're gonna call that object. So what I wanna do then is just pretty much grab the same data that I've done before, which is this right here, this get object or 404 related stuff right here, right? So this is gonna grab that detail and to grab the ID, we just do self.keywordargs.get ID. Those are obviously the keyword arguments that are coming through on our URL, like we see here. And ours right now is an integer with the name of ID. And this will actually grab that object for us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say obj equals to none, and this will grab that object. So now we have some object inside of our context. So this will work on both our get method as well as our post method. It will have that object in there. And if we look at our template, it's a combination of that detail view and that create view form. Um, and now what we'll do then is actually update this item. So we have this item here. All I need to do is pass it in to my form as an instance. So instance being obj. And I wanna have that also down here in addition to the request.post. So this is grabbing that post data along with that instance. This is initializing that, looking to see if it's valid. And if it is, then it will save everything for me. And then finally, my template has the method of post and the form really hasn't changed. So let's go back in here and let's take a look. I've got my update view here. Oh, we got a context error. So we wanna make sure that we have context defined. And that's this right here. That should not, actually not be there. Little mistake, sorry about that. Okay, so we come back in here, hello world. I'll just change it to being hello. I'll hit save. It changes it to hello. I go back to the detail view, it's still hello. If I go back to the update view and change it to ABC and hit save, it does that validation again. Now you can probably see that this is redundant code and it is, and that's because of how we had to do it by raw detail. We started doing stuff that's not redundant code but really at this point, it's like you might as well use that generic class-based view, the built-in class-based views that we've already gone over, right? So, I mean, this is just so much cleaner and simple, but the idea here is really understood. This is the raw version of it.